All right, well, um, thank you uh, for everybody coming. I just wanted to give a quick update where we are with our uh, Coming Full Circle campaign. You know, we, this was a project that we started back in um, February of this past year, and you know, as I've mentioned, I think a couple different times, we've really had an overwhelming uh, support from our fans and from our donors. Um, today, you know, excited to, to, to say that you know what we've, you know, our priority was selling the field level suites, and then it was selling the premium boxes, and then club seats. Um, as of today, completely sold out of field level suites, completely sold out of premium boxes and we have sold over 50% um, of, of our club seats. So it's just been a, a tremendous uh, support from our fans. I think one of the unique things with the campaign and with this is we've been able to usher in a whole new set of uh, fans that, that haven't been a part of the University of Louisville. And um, you know, doing this project has been able to, to bring them in uh, and, into the fold. Um, you know, we've had, a, like I said, with a ton of momentum, um, we're excited to announce that we are going to be able to, um, we want to move up the opening date from 19 to 18. You know, we like to start construction at the end of this year. So we've really had uh, and have it be ready for the opening of the 2018 season. So it's, it's really, uh, you know, a compliment to our fans and to our donors who have uh, believed in us and have believed in Coach Petrino and the team that he's assembled and the momentum that we've had. Um, it's, it's something, you know, as a development officer and, and overseeing our development, uh, team, it, it's really been uh, an exciting seven, eight months uh, now to sit in front of you and say, you know, we've been able to come this far. Uh, projects like this, uh, very rarely do you ever hear about starting a year early. But knowing my dad, and, and most of you do, uh, he wants to be very aggressive. And that's that's what we want to do. We want to give Coach Petrino every opportunity and everything he needs to have, a, you know, continue to have a, a top-notch program. So, you know, again, a couple of recaps we've got, you know, the, with the expansion, you know, you know, enhance, it's twofold, really enhancing the fan experience, which I feel we're going to do with the 10,000 seats and 12 field level suites, 70 premium boxes, and 1,000 club seats. And then also from a um, enhancing the player experience and the operation, what we're going to do to the operations building. Um, you know, as we analyze and we look through and we sat through some of our meetings and talked with the coach heavily, you know, we've actually added another 30,000 square feet to um, the facility. So as we spoke before, we are now going to be at 70,000 square feet of new space and we're going to have renovated 30,000, so for a total of almost 100,000 new square feet of space for um, for Coach and, and our players to have. So this is a, a project that is very important to us and one that we have been very committed to. And, and as we've said before, we're going to be very aggressive um, to attain. And I think you know the excitement um, within our fan base is, is truly shown by allowing us the opportunity to start and open the facility a year early. Questions for Mark? Mark, did you know that this was a possibility all along, or where, where along the, uh, the, the road did you think? start this a, a year earlier than, than prior. Didn't know it all along. I think from our standpoint, you know, seeing how quickly the field level suites were sold and then we had a really big push probably through April and May to, to look at it and say, you know, this, this could be a possibility. I really challenged, our, um, challenged my team and, and to say, okay, guys, if, you know, there may be an opportunity, here's how we can do it. And, and you know, a lot of credit goes to, uh, to, to my staff and how hard they push to, to, to make new sales. Again, as I mentioned, I think one of the unique things for me and one of the great things is to see how many new fans are going to be a part of this and, and are a part of this expansion. Um, you know, we've had a great um, you know, support from philanthropy from our current donors, but to see the amount and new number of donors that we're going to have as part of it have been uh, really exciting. Is the demographic pretty much in corporate sales or is there less across the I think it's a. I think it's a. It's it's a healthy mix. I think it's a. It's a healthy mix um, all the way throughout, from the field level suites to the club seat sales. I think you'll see a good healthy mix, but probably lean more towards uh, individual versus corporate on the side. I know you started this in February, but how much has this excitement the last month and a half that the program has generated? How much have you tried to capitalize on that, and how much have you? Oh, absolutely. I mean, you know, it's it's been it's been unbelievable. You know, to be able to have game day come. You know. It, to have that here and just, you know, as we were telling people, you know, as you said, you know, believing in Coach's vision and trusting in him and knowing what kind of program and that he's building, that, you know, when you are able to say those things and have it reinforced on the field, it certainly makes what we do much easier, um, you know, and, and we're very appreciative of that fact, so. It's grown, yeah, we've, we've added an additional 30,000 square feet. It'll increase somewhere, yeah. I mean, most a lot like all your capital projects, there there'll be a you know uh, there'll be an increase in the price somewhere. But you know, we're working right now to make sure that we get the, the most bang for our buck. If you want to call it fifty-seven, I, it might be all right. But fifty-five has a nice ring.
Well, really, as we sat down, as, as Coach and I sat down, it was it was identifying what's a priority and what he needs, and, and what you know our program needs to have everything to compete at the highest level. I, I think you know you'll see once this expansion is complete, it'll be one of the top facilities throughout the country, and you know. Our job from an administration is to provide coach with um, the resources he needs to be able to recruit and to have a you know to have a, a great program. Mark, so 2018, the first game's away, so it would be that second week, that September 8th, Indiana State, I guess. Yeah. The target. And then what will happen with the break ground this year? How much will it affect next season with down here and in the building and all that kind of stuff? What will happen? We are actually working on that today. Spent the, the whole morning kind of going over all of our logistical plans. Um, you know, we're going to work, I believe, on the, um, the actual expansion of the, the seats and everything else first, and then the second half of the project will be more with the Schnellberger complex and uh, expanding the operations building. Certainly, I think with anything like this, you know, there will be some growing pains. Um, you know, Coach has been great and helped us and said that they're going to be very flexible and, um, you know, to work with and, and understanding it's not ideal, but the end goal is going to be um, exceptional, and I th think that he'll be very happy with it. The premium boxes um, had an initial contribution of 40000 and then had an annual donation, have an annual donation of 4000 and then each club seat has an initial contribution of 8000 and then annual donation of 500 It was a six-figure capital contribution that were associated with it, yes. And then the terms are the same as what we have with our current suites, four- and seven-year lease option. And, um, yeah. Would you make a brief opening remark about what this project means to your program? This is exciting, getting it started early. You know, um, I think the thing that it really shows is the commitment from Tom Jurich and Mark Jurich and, and uh, all our administration. Uh, that we want to give our student athlete the best possible experience they can have, and and the uh, the the opportunity to um, become the best player they possibly can become. Uh, it's exciting to see the support that we have from our fan base and and our boosters and and a new group, and the belief that they have in in our program. Uh, I truly believe that. It, when we go out and recruit a young man, we can bring him in here and tell him that you know he, he's going to give, be given every opportunity to become the best player he possibly can become, from being in the in the strength and conditioning room, to to our training room where um, it's designed to keep them healthy, uh, designed to help them get back on the field the the quickest and, and fastest they possibly can, uh, and I think that's one of the things when you talk about the extra that we put into it in the in the Snellenberger complex it is really about you know trying to improve the training room improve the strength and conditioning room and then also our meeting rooms and you know being able to teach and and do the things we need to do as far as uh, teaching the game of football uh, will be really exciting for me because our it'll it'll truly give our coaches the opportunity to, to do to do a better job of teaching so I think that's a that's a Unbelievable deal. We're excited to do it. There will be a time when we know we'll be out of the building and uh, where we're going to go yet. I don't know, uh, but I did say we'll, we'll go wherever we have to go. So uh, just to, to be able to get this done and, and completed and, um, you know, be able to move the date up, I think is unbelievable. So I'm not sure how long we'll be out of the offices or where we'll be working at. Uh, the good thing is we do have other locker rooms, you know. Um, I remember when we first moved in here, we were using the visitor locker room for practice because we weren't completely finished with the complex yet. Uh, I remember being in an offensive meeting room and, and a ladder in there and they were hanging the lights while we're trying to figure out what we're going to do on third and five. So uh, we, we can work around that and get everything done and, and finish completely. And, and uh, like I said, it's just really exciting for me. No, uh, no, it's, it's really not, it's not what it's about, the waterfalls and barbershops. What it's about is being able to go into a, ho a home and tell a, a parent 
that your son will be given every opportunity to use his abilities and become the best possible player that he can become, um, whether that's getting faster, bigger, stronger, smaller, uh, and then also the training room being able to make sure they're given everything there to be able to recover and stay healthy and you know football is continuing to get in uh, to be a, a faster game and you know we have to be able to get them back on the field faster the season gets longer there's more games than there ever has been so it's all about you know giving the experience so the player can become the best possible player he can become. Uh, there, yeah, there were a number of things that, that uh, weren't exactly how we thought they would be initially. So we went through meetings and, and uh, you know, basically we're asked, you know, what would be ideal. And then if we didn't get exactly what we wanted ideally, then, you know, it was, well, will this do? How is this? And it's amazing the cooperation um, that we have. February about having the plans to show kids and recruits and all that. Now you'll have construction here. How much does that change? I mean, because now they know that they're going to be a part of it. Yeah, I mean, I think it's when you go out and recruit someone and say, you know, in two years we'll be here playing and this is what it's going to look like. And we have a great video that we, you know, have been showing them, but now they see the work in progress. Uh, that's different, you know, because. Um, I know there's been some places where they've shown pictures for 10 years and never got, never broke ground, you know. So we're getting the ground breaking and going, and it'll be exciting. We have some on the exterior. We don't have any um, on the interior currently. We have not made any progress on that, um, other than knowing the fact that it's going to be put in a prominent place. You know, we want to make sure that it's accessible by all of our fans um, to, to truly appreciate, you know, uh, to tr truly appreciate it. No Lamar Jackson statue in the office. <laughs> <laughs> not yet. Anything additional? All right. Uh, thank you. Thank Appreciate you. it.